Betty. Hello. And uh, these two people really don't meet my introduction. Hi. 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 Just fine. So we have some battle plans. Yes, yes. <laughs> well, well, thank you so much. Good to see you. Well, it's good to see you. I remember my visit. Well, that was awesome. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You tell me where we're going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. well, the only yeah, thing left for you to do now is to do it north and south. Well, <laughs> <laughs> no, don't. I don't know. I've got a lot of, a lot of girls that worry about me, so I, I don't I, think I can put them through that again. No, I, well, that is just magnificent, though. What yes, sir. Well, thank you. Well, congratulations. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Right. Right. I shouldn't have said that, should I? <laughs> <laughs> Joking. Uh, well, no, we've got the perfect solutions. Going in the Air and Space Museum, and that solves everybody's problems, see, because it won't be in the air again, and I don't have to that's, worry where they are either. That's, <laughs> well, that's, that's a good idea. So that, that puts it to bed. Okay. It's a happy memory at this point, <laughs> thanks to you. All right. Yes, sir. Well, thank you. It's just, and thank you for the, for the flags, and I thank you on behalf of Nancy. I know she will be very honored and very pleased. Thank you. Great. Good to see you. Well, all right. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you all. Hi. My sincere congratulations to you. I've studied. I don't know what you're doing. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. I got to see you all. So thank you. 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 <laughs> I know you don't believe that. Hey, Tip. <laughs> Next year would be in the 150 to 200 billion dollar range, unless something is done. Let me ask you: Can you confirm for the American people that the prospective deficit for 1984 is between 150 and 200 billion dollars? I'm not going to get into the numbers game with regard to how big they might be. There's no question about the seriousness of the situation, but. We will be announcing our projection for the deficits in January when we present the, the budget. I'm not going to start this far ahead in trying to say what they will be. I might uh, just add something in here that I think needs correcting. Uh, doesn't have anything to do with regard to this year's deficits. But that is last year when we frankly and honestly were predicting and came within a percentage point or two of what the deficit actually was in our projection. Uh, there were those on the Hill who, right down to the wire, insisted that we were exaggerating the seriousness of the situation uh, in order to justify some of the things that we wanted to uh, reduce in the budget. And uh, I just thought I'd call attention to the fact, uh, without saying I told you so, that uh, we were almost 100% accurate in our projection, and uh, they were tens of billions of dollars off in the, their own estimates. If I may ask a CBS type follow-up. Uh, <clears throat> Mr. President, why won't you tell the American people what kind of deficits we're facing? Because I again come back down to what our situation has been and it's been since the day we arrived here and our administration was installed. That is that we inherited a very dangerous situation with this country with regard to our national security. I had promised throughout the campaign and continue to promise that we were going to embark on a program of restoring our national defenses. We have been doing that. The percentage of our budget that goes to national defense is less than was customary uh, back over the, the decades since World War II. So it is not basically uh, our economic problem today. As for tax cuts, or 
tax increases, in the state of the economy today, I think the tax cuts which we called for in 81 and which were adopted are absolutely essential because the only way we're going to rectify the present situation basically is to restore the economy, to get our economy back at full capacity, our people employed. And cutting taxes in this kind of an economic situation, I think, uh, would be self-defeating because, uh, or to, re I mean, to increase taxes would be self-defeating because it would slow the economy even down further. We already, government has been too much of a drag on the economy. We must reduce the percentage of the gross national product that government is spending at present. Government and government alone is responsible for the economic situation in which we find ourselves. Well, your answers then, sir, really indicate that uh, you are sticking to higher defense spending and you are sticking to no increase in taxes. Sounds like you're pretty well set in concrete, and yet with the election results, all kinds of uh, people are now saying that they're looking to, uh, to cut your defense budget and raise taxes. The only way to bring those deficits down. Well, I haven't exactly accepted the democratic interpretation of the election results. I think there are all kinds of signs that indicated that the people, as always, uh, went out and candidates won or lost, uh, depending on uh, issues in their own uh, particular districts. The very fact that only 28 of the bull weevils were running for re-election and 27 of them were elected indicates to me that we could make a case that maybe there was being a message sent for us to, uh, shall I coin an expression and say, stay the course? Mr. President, more on economics. Last summer you said that your economic plan would keep deficits going down in a, in a steady, uh, at a steady level and that you would have a balanced budget by 1987. You still hold to that prediction? You still stand by that prediction? I don't believe that I can, faced with the reality of uh, what we're going to be able to get from the, the Congress with regard to budget cuts. Um, I do believe that we can, if we have cooperation, uh, we can have a declining pattern uh, in the deficits that will indicate uh, down the road uh, a ways, eventually a balanced budget. I might point out that our deficits uh, wouldn't be as big as, they're, as, they're, as they are if we had obtained the budget cuts that we asked for. We still have never obtained those. Right now, I'm waiting for the Congress to implement uh, their promise in the last budget cut and tax increase package that we sought uh, before the recess and which we obtained their pledge to give us three dollars in cuts for every one dollar of increase in revenue. <clears throat>